Hello everyone, how is the audience doing actually? I'm good, I hope you're good as well on this Tuesday. I'll get to the nitty gritty here in a bit, but just want to tell you that uh, today has been pretty good so far. I uh, did a lot of arm exercises, so I'm a little bit sore. I might be slowing the uptick. Uh, it's what I've been doing lately because I can't get to sleep often. That's the breaks, I guess. So... Welcome to another episode of Tales of a Never Do Well. I'm Jaime. Let's get to it. You see the episode title, and those of you that play football could probably already tell what I'm talking about. For those of you that do not, the mic is the colloquial term for the middle linebacker. Those are probably the most important on a 4-3 defense, actually. 4-3 means that uh, you've got four men in the front, you've got two defensive ends, two tackles, nobody on the center. The center is usually covered by one of three linebackers. Uh, you have a outs two outside linebackers, one middle linebacker. The middle linebacker is known as the Mike. Strong side is known as the Sam Will is your weak side. Weak side is usually the guys that are sent on the blitz because they're trying to go on a quarterback's blind side. I did play football for about eight years. I started around fourth grade middle school. When I moved to Tennessee, I started as a freshman. I was a little bit on the pudgy side because I decided to eat quite a bit. However, this did help out as they were able to get me into a bit of a more muscular frame by my freshman year. The thing that happened, though, was that uh, in my freshman year, halfway through the season, I was put as a starter. The uh, middle linebacker they had was, was a senior. He had uh, sustained a lot of knee injuries over his time. When that happened, they had to take him out, and I was the only one available, actually. So from there, I went on, I played the position, I actually lettered at the end of my sophomore year. However, I did get stuck at middle linebacker for my high school time. I wasn't well liked in the uh, Tennessee Secondary School Association because I injured my opponents quite a bit. Not on purpose, though. A lot of the times, I was able to get lower than most of my opponents. I was able to out-muscle a lot of my opponents and ended up breaking two shoulders, breaking one knee, breaking three ribs, breaking someone's skull with a forearm shot. Not proud of any of those, but stuff happens when you're across the field. I wasn't very well liked at school either because a lot of the people just saw skin color, not me. Do I hold any victim cards for that? No. People are people. You can't change their minds whenever they're kids. When they're adults, they realize, hey, I was a bit of an idiot. However, the state did recognize me with multiple awards. Got quite a few defensive player awards. I got a few second teams. However, the one funny moment in my life when I decided I didn't want to stay in football, stay at middle linebacker. It was during a playoff game. I had went against one of our teams first round of the playoffs. We lost that game, but I was lined up against a prospect for the University of Tennessee. And uh, at the time, the coach of Alabama was Mike DuBose. He was desperate. Alabama had been on a downswing, not to the current Alabama that we see today with Nick Saban and his dominating force of a team. Alabama was suffering. They had lost the, with the legacy of Bear Bryant. There was a lot of stuff with Gene Stalling that was unresolved, so DuBose had to take over at a very bad time. This Tennessee player, this Tennessee prospect was lined up across from me. He tried to go high. He was about six foot five, close to 300. He tried to go high. I went low, took out his knee. The result of that was in my junior year that they had offered me a scholarship to the University of Alabama. I ended up refusing because I had my mindset on that time that I was going to leave the South. I ended up going into the Army, but you know what? That's a story for another time about the Army me actually. I just wanted to give you a little quick story about why I called, you know, when I talk about football why I'm just kind of meh about it lately. I've been there. I've done that. But you know what? It's a hell of an entertaining story, right? So, you like this story? You like other stories? You can go back. I'll try to build a library pretty soon. Below, I've got a Kofi. I've got various other social media links. Follow them. Like them. Do what you will. As always, I will come back next Tuesday with another tale. Have a good one.